Hey, Sean McGough here. I'm crying like a little bitch driving along. I had to pull off the side of the road to make this video. I'm not going to share it right away because i got to watch it a couple times, see if I really want to share it or not. I'm driving along and we passed this little town called Littleton. And my mother used to talk about Littleton and my aunt Stella. I started thinking about them and how they always fought and how my mother drove Stella absolutely insane. And my mother drove me insane too as a kid. She talked to a lot of different voices. And I didn't know what she was doing. I think maybe she was talking to God. She just didn't know how to react. She did, She couldn't handle all the voices at one time. There's a guy Paul I worked with. And I finally got up the nerve to ask him one time, what does that last voice say? Because he would talk to four voices. Fifth one would burst him out laughing. And I got to ask him right before he's retired, I, I said, hey, Paul, let me ask you something. What's that fifth voice say? You're always laughing. What's the fifth voice say? And he said, oh, he's a funny bastard. You notice that? And that, I don't think I ever heard Paul swear before. Well, yeah, he did under his breath a lot. Motherfucker, motherfucker. But <laughs> maybe God was talking to him too. I don't know. But he was he's a good guy. He's still with us. I hope I didn't just kill Paul off. But anyway, back to my mother. I remember one time she was just talking for three days straight, just off, on and on, at least during the hours that I was home. And I wanted to hit her so bad. I, and you want, I want, I, I just wanted her to be quiet. She was making me crazy. I was all of, I want to say 12 years old and these thoughts went through my head. And I went to hit her and I stopped, but I made a little contact and then I put pressure. But she said, oh my God, you hit me. And I said, no, mom, I didn't. I was just, you know, patting you on the shoulder. She said, no, you hit me. And it wasn't, it wasn't a hit. It was a, a pat and some pressure. But I wanted to hit her and I think she knew. And that voice in my head that swears at me, at that point said, what the fuck are you thinking? And I've thought about that day. I tried to make it up with my mother. I pray I did. I don't know if I'm sharing this one. These are stories that if I ever figure out how to get monetized, I'll share them. We all have demons. We fight them every day. Fight your demons, but the ones that tell you to do good things, go ahead and listen. Those voices, they're not all bad. That's all I'm saying. We've had demons. We've fought them. I pray to my mother now. Forgive me for my indiscretions. We should all respect our parents, no matter what they do. Well... No, there's some things a friend of mine killed his father, and that bastard was a long story. Anyway, like I said, I don't know if I'll share this or not, but I'm making it. I had to pull over. I'm seeing the most beautiful views here in Waterford, Vermont, I guess I'm in. Absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I still haven't got food, so I'm racing, and I know that. That's neither here nor there. CBD does the same damn thing as the weed. Just not as happy. <laughs> anyway, hang tough, America. Follow along. Like I said, maybe I share this, maybe I don't. I won't title it. Go look oldest to newest. You'll get the hang of this. I have some great ideas. I just need help getting them out there. Number one idea, everybody talk. Everybody know each other again. Love each other again. Find some Al Green. Al Green's amazing. An old Aretha. Respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I forget who misspelled that, but that's so funny every time they try to do that. They don't even know Aretha. Come on, man. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Anyway, God bless America. Stay with me.